What's going on, Monka Dudes and Monkats? Hell for Gaming here, back at the game with some more Hail Survives MC, and uh, have a little bit of a predicament and a little bit of an idea I had today. First things first, I'd like to say I am using NVIDIA Broadcast through the Logitech G Hub, and it is helping noise canceling some. I think it also might be increasing mic popping a little bit, but when I turned it off, my mic was still popping, so I don't know if there's a rate increase or what, but, uh... I apologize for the mic popping. Hopefully it's just my cable and I can fix it soon. But I don't know, so we'll see. Um, so first off, uh, I'd like... Well, I already said a first off. So second, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to the thumbs up button and share support. Subscribe for future content and do that notification bell so you can be notified of future content. I'm very appreciative of all support. But I would like to do something this episode. There are two things I'd like to do. One thing was a brilliant idea I had. Not so brilliant, kind of a dumb idea, actually. It was like, why didn't I think of this before? And the other thing um, was the plan originally. So first things first, why am I not doing pumpkins and melons together? Originally, I said I wasn't going to, but now I think it's a better idea that I replace all of these with pumpkins. Or with, not pumpkins. Um, I'm producing a lot of pumpkins as is, so why don't I replace them with melons? Look at all these pumpkins. That's a lot of pumpkins. That's too many pumpkins. So, like, in all honesty, what I'm going to do is... What I think I'm going to do is temporarily turn it off. I might compost some. You know, I'll leave it on. I might just compost some. But I don't have any melon seeds. Which means I'm going to have to fly around freely looking for melon seeds. And I just looked up on Google because I don't know where exactly the best place to find melons is. Uh, R is R is 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 first I'm gonna look in this mine shaft to see if I can find chests and hopefully those chests have melon seeds in them so I'm gonna do that off cam because I've already kind of been through it so I'm gonna look um and hope for melon seeds and if not then I'll look around a bit on cam so I'll see you guys back in just a little bit all right well there's a chest here it just has pumpkin seeds in it I don't really need pumpkin seeds but I found a chest here why? Maybe this used to turn? I don't know. Glitch, maybe? Um, I'm going to kind of ignore that for now. Some torches. All right. Oh, there's another one over here. All right. Cool, cool. And... Oh, my goodness. Yes. Just... I'll take it all. Give me it all. Yes. Six melon seeds. Oh, I got the melon seeds I needed. You know, screw it. Just dig this out. Take this out. I just walk by this easily, and I can also put this here. Boom. All right. I have gotten a few, a couple more. Uh, I think I put the iron and clay in one of them. I don't, I don't know. But I got a couple more. And uh, yeah. Yeah, now I need to head back home. So let's go. Let's go. Well. It's not perfect. I'm not going to be planting any more of those, but I will plant the melon seeds. And it's not perfect, but I think I'm going to do the right side. Now, first, before I put the melon seeds in here, I'd like to open this up, collect all of these, and put them like that. What the? Oh, yeah, I think I know how that happened. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this out. Simple. And then try to... Ah, there we go. Weasel my way in here. Now, starting on this end, one, two, three, four, five, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the rest of them because, screw that. This, oh, I got, I got punted. Oh, this one, all right. And the rest of these can be picked. There we go. Now I'll just get out of here. And I got glass, so one, two, three, four, four. There we go. So now I just wait, and eventually these will grow. And once they're grown, they'll make watermelons, and then I'll just replace the rest of these with watermelons. And then I'll have both grown. That was easy. Now, we'll get on to the second part of today's episode. Wow, I didn't need as much as I thought I did. Why am I out? I don't even know, man. 
Sometimes this game confuses me, but whatever. Anyway, um, let's go to the nether, because that's where we have to go. Because today, we're fighting the wither. Now, I don't know how long that's going to take. Actually, before I go, let's go over here. Let's go ahead and do this for now. I'd like to take out the Wither's Nightmare for this. Because I'm going to be killing undead. Wither Skeletons. Oh, I also need to clear out my inventory. I'll do that. Um, I'll take out the Redstone Chest, please, and thank you. And I'll drop all of these off in the Redstone Chest. Perfect. Oh, and these. And these. And these. I also have a name tag. Oh, and chests. And chests. I also have a name tag. Nice. Um, the rest of these can go in other places. So I'll worry about that shortly. Oh, there's my torches. I got confused for a second there. Um, put that up. This in here. I'm going to make one more. I should have enough ender pearls, I think, to make one. So I'm going to make one real quick. So I have another one. Uh, I can leave them a little closer. Actually, they're probably invaluables. And interpearl. And... Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Oh, I know where they are. Potions. Makes more sense. All right. So I'm actually going to use one of these blaze powders later. Oh, actually, I'm going to use a couple. No, 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 I should have... Where's my potion brewer? Is it in my house? Yeah, it's in my house, so it should have some in it. Okay. Um, obsidian. Obsidian? Crying obsidian. Is it my valuables box, perchance? Because obsidian is pretty valuable. It is. I only have three. I need eight. Okay, I'm going to have to mine some obsidian, so I'm going to go do that. But I'll be prepared to make it. I'll just go mine eight obsidian and then be prepared to make it. So I'm going to go ahead and drop off this in here. Bread in here. Blueberries in here. Seeds in here. String in here. Clay in here. Maybe. Maybe clay in here. I have clay in here. Okay. Uh, iron in here. And deep slate, no need to send it for this. This is cobbled, so regular, deep slate. All right, now go ahead and craft this. Crafting table down here, and go mine some obsidian. So I gotta go back down there. Well, maybe, I might see about finding some obsidian in the nether. Oh, never mind. I'll just go to the nether. They, I should have some obsidian already in the nether waiting for me at my piglin portal. Piglin port, pig. Piglin, what? Piglin portal. Yeah, okay, whatever. English isn't my strong suit. <laughs> Piglin bartering farm. That's what I was trying to say. I should have at least eight bits of obsidian. So, Oh, I don't have gold on. Oh, I don't have gold on. Hey. Why? Whatever. Um, that's one piece of obsidian... Oh, did I take all the obsidian out? Uh-oh. I did. I did. Well, shoot. All right, well, I'll just mine a abandoned portal or something. I just need eight bits. So I'm going to look around for... Well, I know there's one... Eh, I want to rebuild that one, though. There's one down here, right? Okay. I'll just mine out this one, then. Whoop. Ow! That was painful. And I get eight bits from this. One... Two, I might have it in my uh, valuables chest or something. Three, four. Like la uh, obsidian shouldn't melt in lava either. That's eight. I can put this piece of another act back here. And put this here. And make an inner chest. All right. There, and I have an extra inner chest. Now I need to eat. Now we're gonna go to 
the stronghold, which I believe is this way. Hopefully. No. Uh oh, I'm lost. It's okay. There's my stuff. Okay. All right. Now I know it's this way. Ouch. We. <laughs> I had to get my boundaries. But I can just fly across. It's a lot faster than the way I have been getting around. As long as I'm careful not to die due to kinetic energy. And this is the entryway to the portal. Or to the portal. To the end. To the nether. To the fortress. Gosh, I am so bad at English. But yes, today is Witherkill Day. So, we're going to be hunting for Wither Skeleton Skulls. That is not going to be fun. I'll tell you this right now. It's kind of annoying to do. But, having said that, what I should do, actually, is get me a little bit of netherrack while I'm in here. There we go. Just a little bit to build with. And I might actually do this. There. And this. There. Alright. So I got some netherrack now I can build with. And I'll go kill some wither skeletons. Uh, after I find some. That's the painful part, is actually finding them. But I do have looting three. So we should be good. Everything should be fine and dandy. I have not looted this chest yet, so let's loot it. And destroy it. And put this back on. And loot it. Oh, hey. Another quart. Another wart. Another wart. Oh! Oh, oh god! Hello! You scared the boobs out of me. <gasps> Oh, you scared me. I have poor prot on, right? Oh, other than my elytra doesn't have prot. Uh, there is a data pack where you can actually combine your elytra together. Oh, God. You can combine your elytra together with your armor. And it'll be armored elytra. And it's a cool data pack. I might uh, show it off in a small data pack thing. Oh, uh, that's a chest plate. Why you gotta be a chest plate? I'm not gonna equip a chest plate. I want to fly. I'm having really bad trouble finding them. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna look around and see if I can find some. First one spotted. Uh oh. Okay, he's dead. Ooh. No skull yet, sadly. He just came out of nowhere, startled me. <sighs> wow, that was that was startling. I, I was supposed to place netherrack, but it just startled me. You know what? I'll offhand this. I can see a little better, sort of. Actually, you know what? Alexa, turn off my light. Ah, I can see better. Suddenly, I can actually see in here. <laughs> Wait, what? You know what? Me alone. Rude. What a rude dude. And crude. This is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah, this is a completely dead end. So I'm just gonna go back. Pretty far, actually. You know what? Take that. There. Bothering me. It's rude. Didn't ask to be bothered. It's a dead end also. Um. I guess I'd keep everything. Sure, why not? Okay. Pier. Looking for wither skellies, but I just don't... How'd you get up here? 
I got pork chops now. It's a little bit less of a waste. Alright, well, good enough for me. This is a dead end, too. <sighs> Lots of dead ends. Alright, here's a couple more. Any luck with the skull? Uh, nothing yet. I just put a bunch of stuff away in my project chest. You know what? I should actually probably put my project chest away, too. And just pull it out as needed. I just decided to fly around and look, and I found a couple on top, so... Thought it would be easier this way. Whoa, don't fly up too high, please. Oh, hi there. Like, this is a really weird... I'm confused. Why? I'm actually kind of happy I have fire aspect on this. This gives me food. I mean, I did it on purpose, but... Because, honestly, the food's nice, especially with looting three. But like it's it's because it's cross sectioned here. It's it's a really weird spawn, and it's so confusing because of it. Was there any over here? Did I miss some? No. But this lava is not helping. I have to get past this lava. That's on top of there, and I can barely get past this lava. And then there's a tree right here. Like that's confusing. And then there's just, is it because of all the lava? It's, it's so bright around here, they're not spawning? Wow, it's just horrible. I've barely gotten any. Usually I get more than I want. You know what I mean? Like, what the heck is going on here? Where are all of them at? Oh well. All right. Good bit of skelly. Well, good bit of skelly. A skelly. Good bit of skelly. Give me bit. Aw. Okay. Hi. There's another one. At least two is good. So I've got nothing still. And then... Well, they're definitely... Ah, okay. Um. Where... Oh, hey, ahead. Ahead. Where are they all coming? Where are they all coming from? Where, 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 where? I got the achievement. There's another bit that was a lot of skelly. Where did they all come from? I'm confused. But hey, I got a skull from that. Now I just need to keep looking around and finding more. But honestly, these jump cuts, I'm not exactly liking. I think it'd be better if I just, especially with as long as this video already is, I think I should just wait till I have all the heads. Let's see. Here's what I'll do. I'll do a comparison. I've killed a few off cam already. I haven't shown every single one of them, but let's do a mobs. How many wither skeletons have I killed? 14. So 14. Now let's see how many it takes to get the other two skulls. It's a 1.5% chance with each looting increasing by 1.5 for a maximum of 4.5% chance to get a skull. If you look at the wiki, I'm pretty certain that's what it says. So, I just gotta do my best. So, let's go and look around for them. I mean, I've been looking around for them. I've killed 14. I don't know how many of those are registered on cam. So, he wants to count be my guest. I am tired of you guys, though. So, like, why are you here? All right. Okay, just because I didn't believe it, I just saw a skeleton over here, and he dropped a skull. I'm literally at 15 kills now. Let's see if I can hit this guy. <laughs> Better? Got him! That was a good shot, though, because I was on fire and scaring myself. I don't want to place all these torches. But, uh, I'll show you that. That was literally the next kill. I couldn't believe it. 15. Ha <laughs> ha! What are the chances? All right. One more. One more skull. Let's see how many it takes. I almost died and had to emergency eat a golden apple. 
that scared me. <laughs> I just walked by here and I saw one. And it hasn't even been that long. And I saw, oh, hello. More food for me. More food for me, please. But I ended up having to eat a golden apple. And I was like, whoops. <laughs> uh, my HP got a little too low. And I was still withered, so it startled me. Still two skulls. Killed a few. I got a couple, at least. I, uh, died. That's rather unfortunate. Hasn't even been long. I need to pay attention to my health a bit more. And I'm using Elytra, so I guess that's not really helping. But I do have the Gravestones data pack, so I'll get my stuff back from the Gravestone. Now to get back to the nether with nothing, I should have brought food. Oh well. Alright, well I got the three skulls. So what I'm doing now is making some potions for this. Um, When I died, apparently one of the wither skeletons had dropped a skull. I totally forgot to bring that up. But Alright, so I'm making potions of strength too. Um, extended duration... Um, Night Vision Potions, and Regen 2 Potions. Which I basically remember the most of these now, but I, I like to keep these just in case I need them. So I'm getting ready for the Wither Fight. I'm going to be over-prepared, for sure. But, you know, better to be over-prepared than under-prepared. Definitely don't need this in the, in the hot bar. And since I won't be using firework rockets, don't need that in the hot bar. I will be using that, though. I don't need to be using my axe or a shovel. Well, I will temporarily. So bow can go there. Um, so strength can go like this. Uh, night viz will go here. Which will be extended. It just takes a little bit. As you can see, it's a pretty slow process to make potions, but it's fine. It's fine. I could pull up two brewing stands and it'll go faster, but it's fine because I'm patient. I'm a patient little bee. These are night viz. And then this is the uh, see, uh, region. See, which I do have this UI. It's part of the uh, vanilla tweaks resource pack I'm using. Um, the resource pack does show all this stuff, but it helps to, it helps with like memorizing how it goes. Now the final three, boop. But I already knew these. Like I remembered this for strength. I was actually trying to remember what uh, Magma Cream was for, but of course it's fire resistance. I know that. I'm not that forgetful. Um, Potion of the Turtle Master, which is very interesting that it shows resistance to slowness. Speed. If it's opposite, then it's slowness. Jump height, slowness. Uh, how about a jump deficit where you can't jump? No jump. Yeah. Why not have no jump as an effect? Weakness, uh, night vision, invisibility. Somehow invisibility is the negative effect. I don't understand that. Um, you've got instant health or instant damage. You've got poison or instant damage. So there's no way to inflict wither upon yourself. Why wouldn't poison be wither? Wait, poison's the positive effect? I'm confused. Poison is the positive effect, apparently. And then instant damage is the negative effect. That's interesting. But honestly, that's that's weird. Why is poison ever a positive effect? I don't know. But anyway, the regens are just in case I need them. I'll be using golden carrots for this fight and golden apples in case I need it. I'll use this as the building. That goes first, obviously. And I will put my shield on. Uh, I Yeah, I will put my shield on because I won't need the torches. But now, basically, we go find a isolated place down in the caves. Um, I need to be careful of fall damage right now. Although I can heal, so it should be fine. So I'm going to go down here. Come on. Go pretty far down. I don't need to be too high up, so... Should be fine. Just walk over like this so I can get past this wall, maybe. Nope, I didn't make it past the wall, but it's okay. Down here, I want to do it in 
the deep slate area because I've never done it in the deep slate area. Obviously. Okay, so maybe right down here. Oop, right over here somewhere. Put a torch here. Wait, did I dig up somewhere there? Or is that just natural? Maybe it's natural, but I will make it right here will be the wither area where I do the wither at negative 39. Okay, maybe I won't. Let's try this again. <laughs> I'd like to do it at a place where it doesn't lead out into nothing. So how about down here? I just go around like this. That's a creeper. And he blew up in my face. Thank you, creeper. Appreciate that. <sighs> yeah, like I thought I would end up needing it. Okay. A little further back. A little further this way. Hopefully digging myself deep into here. And this, after a few, should be bi a big enough hole for the wither fight. So let's do this. This video is going to be a little longer than I intended it to be, but that's okay. There are diamonds. There are diamonds. Oh, yes, diamonds. Oh, diamonds. Anywho, a little further. Right here. So now we do one, two, one, two, one. Like this. Build out a little hole. Hopefully there's nothing near me. And then we start placing. First, this. Torch doesn't matter because I will be doing it this way. Uh, yeah, that's not where it goes. It's actually very specific about how you put it on here. You have to put them on the head spots. So first, potion of night vision, place a torch, take off the torches, go ahead and put the shield on. Uh, potion of strength is down and skull. All right, he'll blow up that torch, but that's fine. Wait until he gets full. Strength doesn't really matter with the bow, but that's okay. I'll get him to half health. You know what? Screw it. I probably fight him faster with this. Yeah, it's much faster with this. Um, okay. All right, so if I can get out of here. And as you can see, I was massively overprepared for that fight. Let's use a regen anyway. There. I'll stay at full health. Uh, also, screenshot for location. And go ahead and eat. Yeah. So this is where I did it at. And screenshot again for secondary location so that I can remember where it was at. Oh, God. Now i got to get out of here without getting blown up. Uh, all right. I'll meet you guys back at base. Well, it's time. We pull out the valuables box and we make it. I need three obsidian. Glad I had that three obsidian, although I did get three extra obsidian somehow. Uh, five? Yeah, that's it. And now we make the beacon, which I'll use in the next episode, go over the basics of it. For now, I'm going to put the beacon in here because this is what's used. So I will do it next episode, but that will be it for this episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to the thumbs up button and share your support. Subscribe for future content and do that notification bell so you can be notified of future content. It's very appreciated. But anyway, thank you. This is Hellfire Gaming signing out. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody, and thanks again.